Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to explore, antiserum. In the world of medicine, the development of emergency tools and treatments plays a crucial role in combating life-threatening conditions. One such tool that has proven to be crucial in certain situations is antiserum. Antiserum, also known as antivenom or antitoxin, is a specialized immunoglobulins used to neutralize the effects of venomous bites or stings from various creatures or toxins. This remarkable substance has saved countless lives and continues to be an essential part of emergency medical care. Join me as we unravel the mysteries behind this powerful weapon against diseases. What is antiserum? Antiserum, also known as immune serum, is a specialized form of serum that contains antibodies. Antibodies are proteins produced by human animals' immune system in response to the presence of harmful substances, such as toxins or invading pathogens, such as bacteria or viruses. Antiserum is produced by collecting blood from individuals or animals who have recovered from a specific infection or have been immunized against a particular disease. The blood collected undergoes a process called fractionation, which separates it into different components, including the antiserum containing the desired antibodies. The resulting antiserum is a concentrated form of antibodies specifically designed to target a particular pathogen or toxin. What are the sources of commercial antisera? Antiserum is typically derived from the blood of animals that have been immunized against specific toxins or venoms. The animals used for immunization are chosen based on their ability to produce antibodies in response to these toxins. Common examples include horses, sheep, and goats. What is the general procedure of commercial antiserum production in animals? The production of commercial antiserum in animals, such as horses, typically involves several general steps. Here are the main steps involved in the commercial production of antiserum using horses as a source. Selection of suitable animals. Horses are chosen as the source for antiserum production due to their ability to produce large quantities of antibodies. Healthy horses with a history of good health and absence of previous adverse reactions to immunizations are selected. Immunization. The selected horses are immunized with the specific antigen or pathogen against which the antiserum is desired. This can involve multiple injections over a period of time to elicit a strong immune response. The antigen is carefully chosen to induce the production of specific antibodies. Antibody production. After immunization, the horse's immune system responds by producing antibodies against the specific antigen. Blood samples are collected periodically to monitor antibody levels. The horse's immune response is evaluated to ensure an adequate antibody titer is reached. Blood collection. Once a satisfactory antibody response is achieved, a large volume of blood is collected from the immunized horse. This process is typically carried out by veterinary professionals following ethical guidelines and ensuring the well-being of the animals. Blood processing. The collected blood undergoes a process called fractionation, which separates it into different components. The aim is to isolate the serum, which contains the desired antibodies. The blood is typically centrifuged to separate the serum from other blood components. Serum purification. The serum obtained from the fractionation process may undergo additional purification steps to remove impurities and unwanted substances. This purification process helps ensure the final antiserum is of high quality and free from contaminants. Quality control. The purified antiserum undergoes rigorous quality control testing to assess its potency, specificity, and safety. This includes testing for the presence of desired antibodies in the absence of contaminants or infectious agents. Formulation and packaging. Once the antiserum passes quality control, it is formulated and prepared for commercial distribution. It may be concentrated, formulated with preservatives or stabilizers, and packaged into vials or other suitable containers. Distribution and storage. The commercial antiserum is then distributed to healthcare facilities, research institutions, or other end users. Proper storage conditions, such as temperature control, are crucial to maintain the stability and effectiveness of the antiserum. It's important to note that the production of antiserum in animals follows strict ethical guidelines and regulations to ensure the welfare of the animals involved. Animal welfare and ethical considerations are prioritized throughout the process. Types of antisera. There are several different types of antisera based on their intended use and the specific antibodies they contain. Here are some of the common types. Polyvalent antisera. Polyvalent antisera contain a mixture of antibodies targeting multiple antigens. They are used when there is a need to provide protection against a variety of pathogens or toxins. For example, 
Polyvalent antiserum may be developed to provide immunity against a combination of snake venoms or against multiple strains of a particular virus. Monovalent antisera. Monovalent antisera contain antibodies that target a specific antigen or a specific strain of a pathogen. They are highly specific and provide targeted immunity against a particular pathogen or toxin. Monospecific antisera are commonly used in diagnostic tests, research, and in the treatment of specific infections. Hyperimmune antisera. Hyperimmune antisera are produced by immunizing animals with higher doses or more frequent exposures to an antigen. This process stimulates the production of higher antibody titers specific to that antigen. Hyperimmune antisera are particularly useful when dealing with infections that require a robust immune response, such as certain viral infections or zoonotic diseases. Monoclonal antibody-based antisera. Monoclonal antibody-based antisera are produced by using hybridoma technology, where specific hybrid cells are generated by fusing B cells with immortalized cells. This results in the production of highly specific monoclonal antibodies targeting a single antigen. Monoclonal antibody-based antisera have high specificity and are used in various diagnostic tests and therapeutic applications. Recombinant antibody-based antisera. Recombinant antibody-based antisera involve the use of genetically engineered antibodies produced through recombinant DNA technology. These antibodies can be designed to have specific properties, such as increased affinity or enhanced stability. Recombinant antibody-based antisera offer greater control over antibody production and can be used in various diagnostic, therapeutic, and research applications. What are the uses of antiserum? Antiserum has various important uses in the field of research, health and diagnostics. Here are some of its key applications. Treatment of snake bites. Antiserum is widely used in the treatment of snake bites. Snake venom contains toxins that can cause severe damage to tissues and organs. Monovalent or polyvalent antiserum, anti-snake venom serum, is administered to neutralize the venom and prevent the harmful effects of the snake bite. Treatment of rabies. Antiserum is employed in the treatment of individuals exposed to the rabies virus. Anti-rabies serum is administered along with a rabies vaccine to provide immediate passive immunity while the vaccine stimulates the recipient's immune system to produce their own protective antibodies. Treatment of tetanus. Antiserum is employed in the treatment of individuals exposed to the tetanus bacteria. Anti-tetanus serum is administered along with a tetanus vaccine to provide immediate passive immunity while the vaccine stimulates the recipient's immune system to produce their own protective antibodies. Prevention and treatment of infectious diseases. Antiserum can be developed against specific infectious agents, such as bacteria or viruses. It is used for both prevention and treatment purposes. During outbreaks or pandemics, researchers work on developing antiserum from individuals who have recovered from the disease or have been vaccinated. The resulting antiserum contains antibodies that can help in providing temporary passive immunity to those at high risk. Diagnosis of diseases. Antiserum plays a crucial role in diagnostic tests, such as immunoassays and serological tests. It is used to detect the presence of specific antigens in patient samples to diagnose various infectious diseases and autoimmune disorders. Research and Development Antiserum serves as a valuable tool in scientific research and development. It enables researchers to study the interactions between antigens and antibodies, investigate immune responses, and develop new therapies and diagnostic methods. Veterinary Applications Antiserum is not limited to human use, it is also used in veterinary medicine. It can be employed in the prevention and treatment of infectious diseases in animals, particularly in cases where specific vaccines are not available or are not effective. Potential risk or side effect of antiserum. While antiserum is a valuable and life-saving treatment, it is important to be aware of potential risks and side effects associated with its use. Here are some considerations. Allergic reactions. Allergic reactions are one of the main concerns when administering antiserum. Although rare, some individuals may develop an allergic response to the animal proteins present in the antiserum. Serum sickness. Serum sickness is a delayed immune response that can occur after the administration of antiserum. It typically presents with symptoms such as fever, rash, joint pain, and malaise. It is usually self-limiting and resolving on its own. Sensitization. Repeated exposure to antiserum can potentially lead to sensitization, where the immune system recognizes the foreign proteins in the antiserum as harmful and mounts an immune response upon subsequent exposures which can result in an increased risk of allergic reactions. Transmission of infectious agents. 
Although stringent screening and processing techniques are implemented, there is a small risk of transmitting infectious agents from the animals used for antiserum production. Non-specific binding. Antiserum may bind to substances other than the targeted venom or toxin, leading to unintended effects or interference with diagnostic tests which can result in false interpretation of laboratory results. Conclusion. Antiserum serves as an essential emergency tool for neutralizing venomous bites and stings, as well as specific toxins. Antiserum represents a significant breakthrough in medical science. By utilizing the power of antibodies, it helps us combat diseases and save lives in critical situations. As research continues, we can expect even more exciting developments in the field of antiserum. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Remember, knowledge is power. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.